I woke up with a mouse on my head. Hey guys, and welcome back. So today we're gonna to be doing things a little bit differently, and I'm going to tell you a story. This story is absolutely ridiculous, <laughs> and one of the first times I've ever experienced this. I woke up with a mouse on my head. So when we first moved to LA, we were staying with a couple in Van Nuys. Now, we're used to a certain standard of living, so we kind of expected the standard of living wouldn't be on the same level that we were used to. But we came with open hearts and open minds. A few roaches here and there, <laughs> that's perfectly fine. But we never <laughs> would have expected something like this. The couple that we were staying with were staying out in the living room and they had offered us the bedroom. They had already been staying in the living room the year up to us coming up there. Um, so they had no use for the bedroom and gave us the bedroom. So it was kind of nice because we had our own space. We, it was a pretty big sized bedroom with a closet and we had our TV with us. That was fine. We were sleeping on an air mattress. Cool. My boyfriend, Anthony, is pretty much OCD, so he keeps our space nice and clean, and it's definitely two different environments from when you walk in to the apartment to when you walk in to the bedroom. It's two different environments. This apartment was not nice, and I know, be grateful for where you are, and we were. I complained none of the time, but this place was disgusting. I've never seen so many roaches in my life until I moved to LA. And I don't think it was because of LA. I think it's the people that we stayed with were pretty much nasty. I'm okay with, you know, a few bugs here and there, but it was nasty. We didn't use the kitchen because there were roaches in the refrigerator and the microwave and the oven. We didn't eat out in the living room with, you know, our host because there was bugs crawling on the floor where our feet were. We stayed confined into our room because we were clean. And Anthony is very OCD. And no bugs were coming into our room because of it. So that was our sanctuary. You know, we were very happy being there. And that was okay. So I came home from work one day. Um, I think around this time I was working with Lucky Brand in downtown. We are playing video games, everything was great. But around this time it was, it was like 90 degrees outside. So it was super hot. LA does not have central AC everywhere. <laughs> Majority of the apartments in LA have air conditioning units. And I find that so absurd. My time in LA, central AC is a luxury you're gonna be paying thousands for it because it's really hot here. You don't get that. You're going to get a box in the wall and you're going to be okay with it. Being in Georgia, maybe, maybe I'm just used to a different standard of living, but in Georgia, it feels pretty much standard to have central AC. And it was extremely hot. And he was like, before we go to bed, I'm just, I'm just gonna open the door. Just crack it. Get some airflow, you know, air from out there, air from in here, you know, we get a little bit of air. Oh my God, why didn't, why didn't I say something? Because when we went to bed that night, everything was cool. We got enough air and that was great. But I woke up from my dream and I felt like something was on my head. Now. I, I'm typically a back and forth type of sleeper. Like I can sleep real hard and dream real hard, or I can be really light and be aware of everything that's going on around me. <sighs> Guys. <laughs> Guys. I woke up and something told me, there's something on my head right now, right here on my big old forehead. Something's right here right now. And I felt little feet. God, what's going on? And I was like, this doesn't feel light enough to be a roach, which I would still be extremely angry about. 
This felt light enough, but still heavy enough to be a creature on my head. <laughs> so I decided, you know what? Let me see if this is something on my head. I opened my eyes, but I didn't move. But it's dark in the room. I look over and Anthony's laying right next to me sleeping. I'm trying to figure out, is this him? Is he playing tricks on me? It can't be, it just can't be. So then I hurried up and sit up and it jumped off of my head onto my boyfriend's giant afro, bounced off of his hair like a trampoline onto the floor and scurried out the room through that cracked door. Guys, what was going on? What was going on? There was a mouse on my head. Now I've never seen a mouse a day in my life unless it was at a pet store in a box. I've never seen a mouse. I thought maybe I saw a rat in downtown Atlanta walking around at nighttime one time, but I just saw a tail. I've never seen a mouse before. And here one was thinking that he could walk all over my forehead like this is okay for me. Who knows what he had done to my forehead? Who knows what he had done to my hair, my pillow, anywhere else? But this mouse thought, you know what? I'm gonna try her today. I'm gonna be on her forehead. Oh my gosh. So I jumped up out of bed. Now mind you, we're in an air mattress. So <laughs> me moving would have woken my boyfriend up because it's so loud. It's like, you know, whatever. So I jumped out of bed and I screamed like, oh my God. And so my boyfriend's like, what? What's going on? What's going on? Like a mouse just jumped off of my head. There was a mouse in here on my head while I was sleeping. And he was like, you're playing, you're, you know, you're dreaming, it's okay. You know, he's trying to talk me back down. And I'm like, no. There was a freaking mouse on my head right here. And he was like, no, no, no. And I was like, no, you know what? Because I saw it bounce onto your head and out the door. Man, I was so mad. Went out front, you know, the couple is sleeping out front and they wake up too. And I'm like, guys, there's a mouse in this apartment. It just jumped off of my head and out the room. Like, what's going on? And so we spent the next hour or so trying to find the mouse. And it went through the heating unit in the wall, which is really weird because we never used it. It's hot in LA. What do we need a heating unit for? I don't know. But it went under the wall into the heating unit. And you just hear like little pitter patters. But nobody really believed me until they saw it again. Now, bring all this back. Okay, I was just violated. My forehead was just violated by some rodent who didn't even know me. People aren't believing me. And I have two hours before I have to be to work. Meaning, I woke up right before my alarm clock. That's the worst feeling in the world world waking up before your alarm clock I could have got some more sleep I could have but you know what it was robbed due to that mouse so then you know we spend the morning trying to find this mouse so we can kill him you know they got some big giant boots I got a broom you know I'm trying to picture in my mind you can do this you can kill a living creature. It's okay. You know, because I'm an animal person. I really do love animals. But I was violated in my most precious time. Sleeping, I was violated. So we were looking for it, looking for it. We couldn't find it. I had to get ready for work and get the heck out of there to go to work for another eight hour day. And I told him, I was like, this mouse better be dead by the time I get home. It better be dead. I don't care what you gotta do, do it. Because I'm not trying to wake up another night. I get back home, he's not dead. They can't find him. 
but they put around traps around the apartment and that's just okay cool so we went to bed and tell my boyfriend we're not keeping the door open again four o'clock in the morning rolls around and guess what we're screaming again because the couple see the mouse this time and i told you you know what you guys thought I was crazy. You thought I was crazy. You thought I imagined waking up with some rodent on my head who could have let rodent feces in my eyebrows? Could have let rodent feces in my eyebrows. You guys thought I was lying. I told you. Now here we are again, up early in the morning trying to kill this thing. Don't be like me. Don't sleep with your door open, okay? Sleep with the freaking door closed, okay? Just sleep with the door closed. Because if not, you will have a rodent on your head. Oh, I will never forget that, ever. Let me know what you guys think. That was my experience with the mouse on my head. Um, if you guys want me to keep doing more story times, because I have lots of stories from my time here in LA. If you want me to keep doing more story times let me know down in the comments below and don't forget to follow me on facebook and instagram at yvonne Zo to keep up with all my posts and pictures and keep updated with the videos i will see you guys next time in my eyebrows